In this video, we're going to explore how to use the Wonder Workshop app called Wonder. So let's have a look at how this app works. To locate the path Wonder, place your finger in the center of the iPad screen and swipe down. Then type Wonder and tap on the Wonder app. Once the app is opened, you'll notice the plus uh, in the top right hand corner and the play button in the center of the screen. Let's press play. In the top right, I've connected to dash. I can check that I'm connected to the right dash by clicking on the top right dash icon and I can see that I'm connected to Connie. I can see how much battery power Connie has and I can also see if I wanted to go in and change the background color. Maybe I'll make it yellow background because there might be another dash that's also purple, so I'm gonna change it to yellow. So I have my dash connected and let's explore the app. You can see a controller in the bottom left hand of the screen. If we click on the controller, you'll find it's pretty much like a game controller. There are controls here to manipulate dash. Okay, so we have a controller on the bottom left that we can use it's directional uh, through north, south, east and west, or if you're working off a clock, 12, 6, 3 uh, and 9. You have uh, full 360 movement. You can actually spin dash around, move forward, backwards, to the left, and it's turning, to the right, and it's turning. And the other controller on the right is actually Dash's head. So I can move Dash's head to look up, to look down, look left, and look right. In between the two controllers, we have uh, sounds and character from Dash. So the bottom one is high, hello, a sound, and toodles. We also have uh, across the top other character sounds for Dash on the left of the microphone. We have a record button with again 10 slots like Path and like Blockly where we can record our own sounds up to 10 sounds and it works the same. Press on slot one, record the sound, uh, a pop-up appears asking that it'd like us to access the microphone and we say okay, record, counting me in. Testing the Wonder Workshop app. Testing the Wonder Workshop app. Happy with the recording, so I'll tick that and it loads that sound into slot one. So then I go back to the app and in slot one I would have that sound. I also underneath the record button I have uh, lights. These are the uh, patterns around Dash's eye. So as I click on these, Dash's eye pattern is changing to match what the pattern is on the one that I click. So at the moment we're in Drive, you can see in the top of the screen we have Drive highlighted. Uh, there are other ones here, Gripper, and this is an accessory that you can purchase or you can build stuff yourself, and also Launcher. So if you look at Launcher and you have any questions about this, you can actually uh, click on it and it will tell you what the launcher is for as an accessory. And you can also go in and it tells you how the launcher would be connected to Dash. So there are accessories that you can buy and load, but you know that in the kit we have the brick connectors and you can add any Lego to that and build your own accessories. So coming back and placing it in drive. And we also have uh, in the bottom left, uh, sliders and in the bottom right so speed <laughs> and the sounds to go with to give you an idea that you've changed the slider up or down and we also have uh, things that we can hold and tilt to change directions so and, and it gives you some idea if you click on these about how to move forward and backwards and that if you can turn around so there are images here to help uh, you understand how you might be able to use that controller on the left. So uh, going back to the top left you can see that there's an arrow I'm going to click on that arrow and it takes us back to the landing page. On the landing page you have a dash 
and you have a dot. Uh, in the kit we have dash, so we'll be using dash. You have uh, on the right a scroll quest, and if you click on that, there are a number of challenges for students to work through. And again, these, I might turn that volume down. These challenges are uh, progressive in terms of skills and learning how to code. And if we click on the first one, and you can see if I go back to Hello World, it says, would you like to replay this challenge? Because I played it earlier, I'm going to press start over. And it walks through and says, welcome. And it gives you a bit of an intro. I'm gonna press tick. And it says, make dash automatically say hi. Now this is very interesting, the way that this one codes because it works with nodules and we connect them together. So this is a, a somewhat similar to path, uh, but a little bit more advanced. So I draw a line and connect the nodules. And then in the bottom right, you can see a play button. And if I press on that play button, Dash then says hi. And it says I've solved that challenge, see if I can work on the next one. And so progressively you work through each of them. And if I go to challenge, I'm going to start this one over again so that you can see. And it talks about celebrating a meeting dash. And I'm going to go in, make dash celebrate. So I've got a little animation here of dash dancing. And I can choose what kind of animation and I connect, I grab the arrow underneath the nodule and drag it over and link it up to the nodule that I've just dragged in with the animation and then I press play. And Dash then runs that code. But as it goes, you add more. Each time Dash is finished uh, and you've completed a challenge, it moves you on to the next one and each challenge has more tasks and activities for you to learn and for nodules, learning how to use different nodules. So if uh, we go through the introduction and I'll run this one, it says about playing a brave sound and it only gives you in this because you're working through tutorials, uh, one nodule to drag up, it doesn't have lots of options. But in this case, I do have different sounds that I can play. So I'm gonna play, let's go. And I'll tick that one and I need to join my nodules and I press play. Okay, and again, you get a confirmation that you've completed the challenge. You press the tick in the bottom of the screen and then it gives you some more instructions and it wants to add a third nodule. So we're not just working with two anymore. And then as we go, we actually even start to learn about uh, having lines coming back and forth from nodules. So I can press play and it runs through Two, mod two nodules and then is completed. So I'm going to pause there for a moment um, and I'm going to go back. As you complete more of the tasks, you'll see this uh, is finished. And when this first uh, six challenges are completed, that then opens up the wonder cloud. You also have an inventor's log, so you can see the person in the centre of the screen has an inventor log in front of them. I'm going to click on that and you can see all of the nodules that I've accessed uh, and worked through. We can see behaviours that Dash has and as you progress uh, we can unlock memories which are little stories about Dash's history and you can see the number of points that you accrue, so at the moment I have 20 points and I've completed two challenges out of 29. So again, great way to learn how to use uh, a different format for coding and understanding how that works. Uh, we've used system thinking by Bluetoothing to Dash. And there's also a free play. And uh, as you can see when I press on it, it does tell you you need to complete uh, more training before you can open the free play. The free play works in the same process as skill, scroll quest where you're using nodules and linking those nodules up. So you've got the option, two different ways to communicate with Dash. One is through the controller and one is through using those nodules and linking them up and providing uh, a series of instructions for Dash to complete. Thanks for joining in and be sure to check out our other videos on how to use the apps Path, Blockly and Swift Playgrounds. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. 
To find the other videos in this series, head to the Learning Library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group so you can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created.